welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy Lee Momberg I hope that you guys are doing well in today's video I'm talking about how to remember your dreams some of us are gifted with receiving prophetic dreams and receiving messages from God within our dreams but we just don't remember our dreams and so in today's video I'm going to share some helpful tips that you can incorporate into your life to make sure that you remember your dreams do go ahead and like this video if you're not subscribed to this channel yet please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel leave a comment in the comment section just so that I can know that you are here and yeah without further ado let's get right into this video Sometimes God gives us dreams that tells us of a past occurrence that happened, of future happenings, and then also there are dreams that I call bubblegum dreams, and these are dreams that are basically just um, kind of little fractions and what you maybe went throughout the week or did throughout the day, and then those um, events just comes up in dreams, but the actual meaning and the actual importance of the dream, it doesn't really matter and it isn't really of any importance at all so these dreams you really don't have to worry about it you don't really have to take much note of them but then you do get dreams that tells you of past occurrences God will show you dreams where he takes you back into past occurrences of events that already happened and most of the time this is because he wants to show you an area of yourself that you need to heal from maybe it could be something that you went through in the past that you yourself don't even remember and so god would show you this so that you can heal from that and so that you can grow from there and then there is dreams that where god would show you future occurrences future events things that must still happen and these dreams god specifically shows to you so that you can either pray about it or for you to go into a fast for it so that you can change the outcome of that specific event or that occurrence also this is just a disclaimer not everyone is gifted in this area but if you are then following the guidelines in this video would really help you so number one is fasting so there really is no way around it i know a lot of people are like oh this is so hard like especially if you're like working and you have to fast it's like it just makes things a bit more complicated it makes it very difficult i normally do the one where you just drink water so if i really need to eat something i snack on peanuts and this also just really helps me to get my protein up and so that I also don't feel like too lethargic or so that I don't get like too moody. So just to take you a bit into the biology of um, what happens to your body when you do fog. Your body literally flushes down all that toxins that is in your body. I'm going to make an example with your pineal gland. So the pineal gland is basically the size of your ear and it's also like kind of also shaped like your ear and it's in the center of your brain. And this specific organ, once it gets too much sugar, it actually shuts down. And um, the beauty of this is, is the pineal gland is actually, like some research has shown that it's the seat of the soul. I would like to say that it's actually where you can actually hear what God is saying to you and you can receive and you can send messages to God as well. When your, your, your pineal gland is not polluted with all the, the processed foods that you eat and the sugar and all of that. So when you do go into a fast, the pineal gland actually gets strengthened and activates it. So that is why the messages that you get and receive from God is a bit more clearer. Remembering your dreams also is much easier. It's choline. So choline, just to give you a bit of a background of it, choline is a nutrient that basically promotes uh, memory function and muscle control. So if you don't have a lot of choline, you normally can't remember things that well. If you want to take it a bit further, me personally, I think like the fasting is enough for you to remember your dreams. But if you want to take it a bit further, um, check your choline levels because if you are very low in it, that could also be a reason why you can't remember your dreams. I did a bit of research on this. In America, um, they actually have choline level test kits. So you can actually get it at the pharmacy and you can test yourself at home. We don't have it in South Africa. Um, so if you want to go and check your choline levels, you would have to actually, in South Africa, if you would have to go to the actual doctor, book a consultation, and then um, they would actually take your blood and then send it off to the lab. And then they would um, be able to tell you if your choline levels are on a healthy level. I've put a list of all the, all the food that has choline in it. 
Um, it doesn't have peanuts on the specific list. It's also very high in choline, also high in protein. And then number three is ask your question. So because your body is very clean at this time, like your pineal gland, like I explained earlier, is also really, um, it's cleansed and there's like a clear gateway for you to, to speak to God and to receive messages from God. This is the perfect time for you to ask your question. Make the question very clear. So before you go to sleep, ask God your question. Once you ask him the question, you will notice chances are higher that, he's, that you're going to remember the dream and how God answers it to you. Um, then when you're not on a fast, so I'm going to summarize everything for you. So if you do have a feeling that you might be gifted within the area of you, receiving prophetic dreams and receiving messages from God in your dreams, but you're having problems remembering those dreams, then definitely do go into a fast, check your choline levels, and then number three is ask your question. If this video was helpful, do give me a like, share it with anyone that you feel might benefit from this video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next one. Until then, bye!